Hey, what's going on, guys? Koi here. This is going to be at the beginning of every single one of my jo Project JoJo 2 videos. Just as a disclaimer, asked by the devs, that we disclaimer the fact that the game is in major development right now. This is a beta test. This is not public yet. This is absolutely... There's Everything is so complicated, and so many systems are so much subject to change from now to the actual release of the game in future notice. So I hope you guys enjoy the content, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy and peace. Yo, what's going on, guys? All right, so um, today we're going to be talking about uh, just pretty much the release of the of uh, the release of the beta test. My bad, release of the beta test for Project JoJo Two. I was very excited to actually be able to get into this. I thought I wasn't going to be able to because obviously I'm a much smaller creator than what you would expect uh, most people to actually get into these types of things. So I am very excited to be here. Uh, this game is so complicated, so drawn out, so out there that I think it took all the ideas from jo JoJo's, like Project JoJo 1 and then bringing it into a more simplified yet complicated way. It's just crazy. I mean, one, I'm just going to talk a little bit about what stands we actually did get and the fact that stands and abilities actually coalesce with each other and the difference between these end up being, um, you know, uh, mechanically included with each other as well in the other methods of the game such as the fusion method the um the ultimate life form stuff the blessings and everything else included uh, there's just so much complicated stuff pretty much making every stand in the game uh unique in its own way also creating such like a massive uh like it's like it, it, you could create such crazy builds just with this alone as you can see, there's fusion info. There's combined information that you could get by fusing these characters. You get this and this with this certain fusion. And it's just really crazy that they even did this. I think it's a better version of what the fusions were in JoJo's, like, Project JoJo 1. But let's go ahead and get into, like, what they actually did add so far. And I think I want to flesh out a lot more mechanics in future videos because there's so much, like, to talk about that I have no idea where to really start with this. And... I think the first thing we should do is definitely introduce all the stands. And I'll get into, like, doing a showcase on each stand for you guys because I know some of you guys in my, uh, you know, in my server were talking about how y'all are JoJo fans and stuff like that. And same thing with, like, you know, <clears throat> just straight up JoJo's Bizarre Adventure content is always so much fun because every single stand can be so unique in any way, shape, or form. So we have Octoon Baby, which is actually very surprising and uh, the entire stand based off of invisibility, based off the baby from part four, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. We have, I'm going to go by these pretty quickly, by the way. Aerosmith, if you guys do not know, this is uh, Aerosmith, the toy uh, plane stand from part five. We have the Basset, which is the uh, uh, magnetic stand from part three. Boy to Man, uh, or Boys to Men, if you know the, the musical reference. Uh... This one is also from part four. Golden Experience. Golden Experience Requiem. Now, uh, Requiems, right? Uh, Requiems are actually completely different during, um, how do you say, the, the phase of fusion and the phase of Requiem, like, transformations. It's completely different. So, since there's only a select few characters, any character in the game could get a Requiem. But the thing is, if there is a Requiem transformation, that is completely different than having a Requiem in general. Like, a Requiem is the damage boost, but a Requiem transformation can happen if a certain character is Requiem stand arrowed. Just to let you guys know. And it gets a little more complicated with, obviously, whenever we talk about Tusk and whenever we talk about Dio, this is just, like, the way that things are going to be. Now, our first ability, obviously, is going to be Hamon. Now, I do want to get into this little bit about the mechanics, which I do love a lot, and that's going to actually be the ultimate life form mechanics, which obviously bring an entire different flow to how abilities would normally work. Uh, this I want to flesh out in future notice, obviously, because this is just going to take an entire video to just, like, comprehend. But as you can see, abilities in themselves can be used as their own, like, stand-style ability. So they pretty much are standing on their own. Or standing proud as a JoJo reference. 
Now, Highway Star, obviously one of my favorite stands, especially from Project JoJo. I do not think we are able to use remote form yet, though. I have not been able to figure out even how to touch this thing. I've wa I've been waiting to use remote form, but apparently I just can't use it right now. Um, Crimson, King Crimson, obviously, very, very uh, dope stand uh, from Part 5. Now, keep in mind, dudes, uh, that, you know, all this stuff is subject to change. So there is a lot of stuff that is going to be changed depending on, like, when this video comes out and then the release. So if you guys got any questions, do not forget to hit me up on Discord. I am totally open with whatever new information is going to be coming out with in the future notice. But right now, as of this moment, this is just the way that things are going to be for this version of the game. Then we'll see what happens later on. I do have to preface that or else I get in trouble for that. So, we do have Magicians Red from Part 3. We have Manhattan Transfer, which is freaking so cool in this game. It is amazing. You have no idea. Now, a lot of the moves are lackluster, and that probably just has to do with the fact that it's based off the character. But I also think it's probably just damage scaling right now that's kind of funky, which I have noticed with a couple of the stands. But, you know, this is just amazing. The fact that they've been able to bring this one into life to begin with is crazy to me. And just straight up, just talking about this is absolutely insane. I would love to do a whole showcase on this one and the broken mechanics that you could actually do with this so far. Uh, but yeah, soft and wet from part seven. I mean, part eight, my bad, part eight. That is Gappy from part eight. Spin Mastery, if you guys remember Spin from part seven. Star Platinum, of course, from uh, uh, from part three. And the, they do have, like, special passives, as you can see. Um, they're just very, very specific stands. will have, like, way better passives than other stands. It's just lower, like, I would consider it, like, a lower stand. You know what I mean? It's pretty broken because of the lore. Uh, we have Stone Free from Part 6. Uh, we have Stone Human, which is, like, the first time I've really seen Stone Humans. Now, this is not the same as Pillar Man. I think a lot of people get this a little confused, but Stone Human is actually a race from, um, how do you say, it? Parts, part 8 when the universe resets. A little bit of spoilers for people there. And part 9 as well, Stone Humans do play a massive part in Stone Human, uh, in that lore. Uh, Emperor from part 7, I mean, no, from part 3, my bad. Uh, the World, obviously, from Dio. The world over heaven, which is a lot more complicated of a thing that I didn't understand. Because I think these things are actually two separate stands. Entirely. Um, I think these are actually two separate stands. Uh, I have no clue myself because I have not gotten that far with the world. And I only own about half of these so far, not all of them. And uh, right now I'm kind of focusing on trying to hit max level. So that's, you know, we'll talk about that later. Uh, Tusk, of course Tusk, and then Tusk Act 4 is a transformation that is created due using the, I believe it's the, um, the corpse parts. The corpse parts are able to do this. Underworld. Uh, man, I forgot the, I forgot where Underworld is from, man. I actually did forget Underworld. Because this, I think, is this a canon stand? I can't remember if this is a canon stand or not. I really can't. Uh, freaking, it should be, though. Hang on, let me just do a small bit of research before I look crazy. Uh, JoJo Stand Underworld. Okay, so this is from Stone Ocean. Okay, so that's why I don't recognize it. Uh, not gonna lie, uh, Stone Ocean was kind of like, uh, how do you say? It kind of flew over my head a little bit, but this is very cool. That's from part six. I didn't, I didn't remember that. We do have a uh, vampiric mastery, so vampires, of course. We have white snake from part six as well, and then we have yellow temperance. Now, this one a lot of people probably won't remember, but this was the golden guy from part three. A very, very short episode. Honestly, it was pretty crazy though the way that you could actually copy someone and stuff like that. It is amazing. Now, I do want to get into more of these mechanics, but I do want to talk about this in a future date, especially since there's so much to go over. Uh, do expect a lot more videos from me. I'll see you guys later.
Take it easy and peace out, dudes.